Hello my friends, if you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you're returning, welcome back. My name's Alana, here in Classy on the Run, we love talking about all things beautiful. Beautiful hair, beautiful makeup, beautiful places to travel, we're not in the global pandemic. And today we are doing a review and a try on of Givenchy's 2020 holiday makeup collection. Now I have some absolutely beautiful pieces and I'm so thankful to Givenchy for sending me these. Um, I've always been a fan of their perfume. I haven't spent too much time with their makeup, but they did send me a little bit of makeup for their Chinese New Year collection earlier this year. And I found a new favorite. I, I really, there's one product that really stood out to me and it is again in this collection. It's a little different, but it's basically the same. So why don't we go through what's in the collection and then we'll put on my face and then I'll tell you what I recommend. Sound good? Sound good. I mean, if it doesn't sound good, you would have just clicked away, but you should keep watching because it's COVID. So like, what else are you doing? Right? Anyways, let's get into it. Okay, so there are four pieces to this absolutely beautiful collection. All of the pieces have, or basically, kind of have this motif of sort of a silver sparkle with a little bit of a red in it. There's a little bit of a red flick in here. So let's be a 2014 YouTuber and show you that. Look how pretty that is. It is so pretty. And the best part is it doesn't like flick off. So it's not gonna be messy. I, uh, I have a friend who doesn't allow glitter in her home, um, but I, I think this would pass the glitter test. So this is $66 and it is Canadian, all price are Canadian. It's this little eyeshadow trio, isn't that so cute? It's all stars. So you've got sort of a, a chunky white kind of metallic-y glitter and then you've got a kind of more finely milled gray shimmer. And then you've got um, like a matte sort of charcoal gray. So I'm gonna put those there for you. I know, it's so pretty, right? So that's what I've got on my eyes right now. And I'd say it does definitely pull sort of a bluish gray. I think it's super, super pretty. Um, so yeah, this is the eyeshadow palette and it is called Black to Light. It's a limited edition made in Italy. So next up, we have one of my favorite products that Givenchy makes, and that is their Prism Libre. Again, I mean, you can't see anything because it has this on top, but it's basically a really sturdy sort of acrylic plastic cube, but it's like a rectangular prism. For those of you who are doing math at home with your kids, you open it up and you've got, um, the Givenchy logo in like little tiny dots and four different quadrants filled with this incredibly luxurious finely milled powder. I'm gonna put this lid back on because otherwise I'm gonna have powder everywhere. So this powder retails for $72 Canadian and I have it in shade three which is rose and it uh, it's just really pretty. Now, my understanding is that in the holiday collection, it's only available in rose. They do have this powder in different sort of colors. Um, here, let me show you. So for example, they have one that's like, has like a pastel blue and a green in it, which is good for lighting redness. This one is really, really pretty. Some of the pink has like a little bit of a purple hue to it. And when you mix all the colors together, what I like to do is sort of buff it and blend it and sort of dust it. I know those are like, very totally different words um, into all the places on my foundation where I haven't put bronzer blush or highlighter and so for me what that really means is this area of my it's basically my t-zone this area of my forehead I really like to pay attention to it on my nose I really feel like it just helps everything stay in place beautifully I put it sort of around here on my lips my chin and right here and I'm wearing it right now. And what, what's amazing about it is when you're wearing it, nobody's going to know that you're wearing it. So like if you're looking for a product that people are like, oh, what, what are you wearing? Right, like they would recognize that in your eyeshadow or your lipstick. I mean, not when you're wearing a face mask, but um, it's just, it's not noticeable, but it just does this incredible like airbrushed, like soft focus, skin-like, like it's just, oh, sorry, I just itch at my nose there. It is just stunning. And when I wear it, it's like it's like putting a filter on your face. So the one I got um, for Chinese New Year had, uh, or for Lunar New Year, 
had like a, a blue and a green and a purple and a white in it and this one's all pinks and I gotta say wearing I've worn both of them now and I can't really tell much of a difference on me between the different colors but I can tell you that the powder is so finely milled and is so soft and just stunning and I think this is the kind of product that wears well really no matter what age you are like it is just magical I am amazed that more people are talking about this um, it is just amazing and beautiful. Have I sold you yet? I'm really trying. <laughs> and then the last two products uh, go hand in hand and it is their lip products. So the holiday lipstick is $49. Again, it comes in this stunning shimmery. Mm. And the red, the lipstick, I'm wearing it right now, but wait till you see what I have on top, is this beautiful, like, burgundy berry like deep wine like I love a dark red especially you know to me there's two parts of fall there's like the crisp beautiful like like sun filled like crispy leaf fall and then there's the soggy slushy fall so the minute and for me like basically once October's over that's when to me the end of like crispy like pretty warm fall is over and then we get into the beginning of the end so when we get to slush season here in Toronto and for November to me that's like dark and moody fall and so we're in that like November early December as we head into Christmas I love like a dark and moody red like basically this red right here um, I love like darker lip colors darker eye colors like, it's a cozy season I want like big scarves and and so this lipstick is exactly the kind of color I like to wear late fall into the holidays. If I was going to a Christmas gala, this would be flawless, um, but I'm not, more on that in a minute. So, and then the lipstick, it just connects so nicely. Like, it just feels luxurious when you hold it. But the product that stole the show for me, I mean, like, this is the kind of product that I would wear every single day, and in that sense, this is the best product if you're looking for a piece from this collection that you could enjoy all the time. But I'm talking about a product that is so unlike anything I've ever tried, and it is this lip gloss. It is a purple, gray, oyster, like, does it have a bit of green in it, a bit of gold? It's like this incredibly unique color. And it is their Lintour D Lip Top Coat. Retails for 36 Canadian dollars. And I'm not gonna lie, I was thinking that it would be like a red burgundy kind of lip gloss. So I opened the box and I was like, on my lips. But, oh my gosh, you guys, it transforms your lipstick. Like, let me show you. So I'm gonna just, on the back of my hand, I'm gonna make two swatches with this. Okay, so we have two identical lipstick swatches here. And there's the shimmer beside it, right? So it doesn't look like much. We'll wait until I put it on top. Like, look at that way that middle one is just transformed. A work the most awkward hand gesture goes to me. But you can just see that, how it just completely completely transforms that and when I put this on my lips I was so skeptical I was like I'm gonna ruin this beautiful sort of satin like it's a little bit matte maybe this beautiful satin burgundy like a little matte lipstick that looks so good on me like guys I love dark reds I'm like and I'm gonna ruin it by putting gray glitter on top but oh my gosh you guys it it does two things one it just provides this like depth and like this beautiful indescribable shimmer like it looks so pretty in person but then the second thing it does is it really connects the lip to the eye so when you're wearing that eye trio like at first I was like I don't understand this collection but when I put it on my face like I understood and so that eye collection it has those sort of gray shimmer like shimmering nights like sparkling stars and it brings that vibe right onto your lips without it being like matchy matchy you know it's just beautiful like i had to pop into a store so toronto uh today's friday toronto has announced uh, ontario has announced that toronto is going into a lockdown as of monday and so i said one thing i need to pick up and within the few moments i was in the store 
one of the ladies was like, I love your eyeshadow today. And what I wanted to say is, I wish you could see it with the lipstick. But to my friends on YouTube, you get to see both. And it just, it connects in so beautifully. Okay, so now that I've given all of that, let's go to Bareface Alana and let's put this makeup on. Okay, so I've already done my base, um, my blush, bronzer, highlight. I've just done everything just really neutral. I've got my concealer, uh, my Benefit airbrush concealer on my lids, brows are done, and let's dive into these beautiful new products. So what I'm gonna do is using my flat brush, I'm gonna use the larger star, which is that sort of basic sparkly silver color and put it all over my lid all the way up to my brow. Now I will say I don't typically go for silver. I'm definitely more of a golden rose gold kind of girl. But let's let's just let's just play with it. So we're gonna start with that. Now we're gonna use my fluffy crease brush and I'm gonna use um, this silver star up top in my crease. And then I'm just gonna take that smaller brush I used and just pack this back onto my lid. Just get that kind of everywhere. So I'm actually really liking this color. And then using this really small brush, we're gonna go in and grab some of that dark or sort of charcoal gray black. And we're just gonna put that on the outer part of my lid there. And I think we're gonna bring this just a little bit under as well. Let me make it kind of smoldery. There we go. So we have our mascara and eyeliner on, and this is so pretty. Okay, so now the product I'm most excited about is the Prism Libre Holiday again. So I'm using just a really big fluffy brush and what I like to do is just tap a bit of that into the base, or lid. And then I just like to sort of buff it in everywhere that my blush, bronzer, and highlighter is not paying special attention. Ooh. Can never do that gracefully. Special attention to the nose and around the mouth, and kind of under the cheek. And I'm not sure if it fully picks up on camera, but it really just helps everything look so natural and smooth, but like airbrushed. It is truly magical. Okay, and next up we have their lipstick in Enigmat. Enigmat? Enigmatic, Enigmatic Red. Again, in the sparkle. And it is this beautiful, deep red that I just love this time of year. Oh, that lipstick. Okay, I love it just like this, but they did send me a limited edition lip gloss that I am just dying to try because I've never seen something like this before. It's like a prismatic, purple, oily, oily, oystery kind of gray. It's truly, I've never seen something like this. So, wow. So as you guys can see, the lips are this beautiful, deep wine berry shade, but adding that sparkle gloss on top just gives it so much like depth and dimension. Like I know that when they design a collection, they design it to all go together, 
but the lips and the sparkle on the eye just complement each other so well. It's like, it's reflective in each other, but it's not too much. I mean, if there was one must-have product to me, it's the lipstick. I love wine colors like this, but putting the lip gloss on top is so unexpectedly beautiful. The other must-have for me, of course, of course, is the Prism Lip Bright. Now, you don't have to get this specific one. Uh, this is in shade three, by the way, Rose. Um, you can get their regular packaging, their regular collections. I think the limited edition collections are really pretty, but just, you need one of these because it just airbrushes your face to perfection. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna link all of these down below. Again, the prices I mentioned are in Canadian dollars. You can probably get these at the boutique. You can definitely get them at Sephora, but they're just, they're beautiful. They're fun, and I'm so excited to be kicking off holiday content with you guys. And if you are still watching, one, Vlogmas is coming. In December, I'm gonna be posting a video every single day. If it wasn't COVID, I would maybe, maybe do a vlog, but the vlogs would be really boring. So, I'm gonna do a combination of a video every day, so I'm just like this, talking with you guys, playing with makeup, playing with purses, you know. What I get to do is like a job. I mean, it's not like a full-time job, but like AdSense gives me a little bit of money, like a really little bit of money. Um, or the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some vlogs. I'm not sure if I'm gonna organize them as a weekly vlog or maybe do just like one day vlog a week, but about once a week, maybe a little bit more, there will be some vlog content. Now, so many things in Toronto are shut down, so Gonna be a lot of me at home. Anyways, all of that is to say the final thing is we are going to have a giveaway. I'm doing a Christmas giveaway. I might do more than one, it really depends, but I've been putting together a box of goodies for you guys, so stay tuned because we are gonna be announcing that when we kick off Vlogmas. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Mwah.